My name is Douglas Fogel. I'm an independent curator uh, in Los Angeles, California. And I've been working with Museo Humex for almost three years on this project uh, regarding Andy Warhol. Um, the exhibition, Andy Warhol, Dark Star, um, really looks at the first 10 years of the artist's production when he transformed himself from a commercial artist working on Madison Avenue, New York, into a fine artist and then as one of the uh, inventors, so-called, of pop art in America in the early 1960s. And this exhibition, Dark Star, Andy Warhol, Dark Star, looks at his fascination with fame and the production of fame, but also with the way in which images work in a post-war media world. You know, the, the birth of advertising, um, which happens before World War II, but really is accelerated after World War II with the consumer sort of revolution in the West. It's something that he was part and parcel of. Um, so Dark Star, which I took the title uh, thinking about the word disaster, because there's a whole group of works that he made at this period of time called disaster paintings, which were of car crashes, of suicides. Um, these were all from the news, from the press. Um, and the word disaster, uh, going back, tracing its etymology, um, has to do in the Middle Ages uh, with bad omen or bad star. A bad star over you, so bad events happen. Um, but of course, the, our word star, like Hollywood star, um, comes from that as well. So there's a dual edge to the title in a way. Um, so with Warhol, when he began painting with silkscreen process, the Marilyns, for example, in 1962, Marilyn Monroe, he was also doing car crashes taken from the newspapers at the exact same time. And Marilyn Monroe had just committed suicide or overdosed. Um, and uh, so he thought of these all being about uh, kind of tragedy in a way. Fame and tragedy wrapped up in one kind of uh, bundle. I think of Warhol and the work in this exhibition as a kind of late 20th century history painting. And if you think of Warhol as a history painter, and this exhibition for me has that kind of thread that goes through it, you see Warhol in a different light than I think people are used to. Um, yeah, he was the inventor of pop art. And yes, he was the one who said, in the future, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. And he said, I'm paraphrasing, but when you look at my paintings, you look at me, there's nothing there. It's just surface, you know? He was very cagey with the media and the way he gave interviews and what he said. He was always kind of trying to keep it on the surface. I think whether he was conscious of it or not, and whether he intended it or not, the way we can read these paintings today um, is as a kind of history painting. But more importantly for me about why this exhibition would be important for people to see today is to think about the world we're in today. You know, we have a world now with Instagram and Facebook and Twitter that is kind of what Warhol was already pointing to and playing with, but hyper accelerated. So the world we live in is a world Warhol was already describing in 1962, 63, 64, through 66. I think for me, it was about really showing the best of the early explosion that he made onto the scene. I invite people, I hope people will get different things out of this in the Mexican context. Um, but for me, it's a real honor to be able to be a curator who does you know, the first kind of major exhibition uh, of this material here in Mexico City. And I hope it has an impact. I'll be very curious to see in a few years, you know, uh, when a new generation of artists and writers and whatnot come up, what, uh, how they might have reacted to this when they were studying, for example. We have amazing examples of uh, monumental works from major museums around the world, from the Whitney Museum in New York, from the Hirshhorn Museum in Washington, D.C., from San Francisco MoMA, from the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis, from the Albright Knox Gallery in, in Buffalo. Um, it goes on and on. We, uh, the Guggenheim Museum in New York. I mean, we have some of the greatest paintings he ever made here. We're very lucky 
Um, we've worked very hard to bring this to Mexico City, and we hope you all enjoy the exhibition. Thank you.